Hello friends. In this video, I will discuss a method by which you can quickly solve the cubic equations. So a standard form of cubic equation can be written as ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d is equals to 0. Now this is the cubic equation. It will have three roots. So let us say the roots are x1. So one root is x1 another root is x2 and the next root is x3. Now you know the sum of roots in this case cubic equation that is x1 plus x2 plus x3 is nothing but minus b by a and the product of all the roots that is x1 times x2 times x3 this is given by constant term that is d divided by a. So I will use this result to solve this problem. So let us consider the first problem that is x cube minus 7x plus 6 is equals to 0. This is a cubic equation. So in the first step what I will do is I will write this equation in a standard form that is 1 times x cube plus 0 times x square plus minus 7 times x plus 6 is equals to 0. Now the next is I have to find three numbers whose multiplication is 6. So if you multiply these three numbers, so you are looking for three numbers and if you multiply those numbers that will result in 6 and if you add those three numbers then it should result in 0. So how will you find these three numbers? So for that purpose you have to see factors of 6. So by what factor 6 is divisible basically. So 6 is divisible by plus minus 1, plus minus 2, and plus minus 3. So among these numbers, you have to find three numbers so that if you multiply these numbers, it will result in 6, and if you add these numbers, it will result in 0. By hit and trial, if you do one or two times, then you will find these numbers. For example, in this case, these numbers is minus 1, minus 2, and 3. So let us see if you add minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 that is minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus uh, plus 3. So this is equals to 0 and if you multiply them that is minus 1 times minus 2 times 3 this is equals to 6. So this is same as so if you see add if you add this is 0 and here you have 0. If you multiply them this is 6 and this is 6. So now we have found the three numbers. You can call this as a step 2. So in a step 2 you have to find these numbers. So this is a step 2. And the finally in the step 3 these numbers will be the solution. So step 3 I can write basically uh, x minus 1 will be one factor of this equation. x minus 2 will be another factor of this equation. And then x plus 3 will be another factor of this equation. So now this equation can be written as you see this equation the original equation that you have here. Now this equation can be written as something like this. So we have found three factors and these three factors are 1 minus x minus 1, x minus 2 and x plus 3. So now you, you can have if this is 0 so in the final step you can basically uh, equate it to 0 so either this term can be 0 or this term can be 0 or this term can be 0. So if x minus 1 is equals to 0 in this case x is equals to 1 so x is equals to 1 is one root. If x minus 2 is equals to 0 this means x is equals to 2 that is another root and x plus 3 is equals to 0 this means x is equals to minus 3 so this is another root. So in this case you have three roots 1, 2 and minus 3. So now consider the second problem. So you have this problem that is problem 2. In this case again you have to find the three roots. Now see the same method I can apply. If you sum then it should result in 11 and if you add uh, if you multiply these three numbers it should result in 13. So you have to find three numbers. So in the step 1 and there is no need to every time write a step 1, 2, 3 once you understand what we are doing. So first let us find what are the factors by which 13 is divisible. 
So 13 is divisible by plus minus 1 and plus minus 13. So now let us find these three factors. So uh, uh, three, uh, three numbers. So let us say in the step I say that is plus minus 1 and plus minus 13. These are the numbers, possible numbers. Now let us call this a step 2 and which number you will take so that if you add then it results in 11 and if you multiply it results in 13. So what is the possible number? So you see in this case you can take minus 1 again minus 1 and 13. One number can be repeated that is also possible because in that case you will have a repeated root. So if you add these three numbers that is minus 1 plus minus 1 plus 13 this is equals to indeed 11 and if you multiply that is minus 1 times minus 1 times 13 and this is equals to 13. So basically these three numbers satisfy the conditions. So now I can say in a step 3 these three are factor the first factor is x minus 1 again x minus 1 and x plus 13. So these are the factor and this is equals to 0. Now you can equate this to 0. So if you equate this is equals to 0 that is x minus 1 is equals to 0 this implies x is equals to 1 1 solution. Similarly if you say this is equals to 0 again x equals to 1 1 solution and if this is equals to 0 this means x is equals to minus 13 is one solution. So you have 1 1 and minus 13 1 is basically in this case a repeated root. Now let us do the third problem. So let us do some more practice. So third problem is x cube minus 4x square plus 5x minus 2 is equals to 0. So now you are looking for two numbers, uh, basically three numbers. If you add these three numbers, so no need to write a step every time. And then if you add then it results, it should result in minus 4. And if you multiply, it should result in minus 2. So let us find divisors of 2. So you can have plus minus 1 or you can have plus minus 2. So what are the number you will take? You see in this case, if you take minus 1, minus 1 again and minus 2. So if you add all these three numbers, that is minus 1 plus minus 1 plus minus 2. So this is basically minus 4. And if you multiply these three numbers, that is minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 2 this is equals to 4. So you see these three numbers basically satisfy the condition. So what will be the factor x minus 1 x minus 1 and x minus 2 will be the factor and this is equals to 0 from here I can say the roots will be if this is 0 x equals to 1 if this is 0 again x equals to 1 and if this is 0 x is equals to 2. So 1 1 2 in this case is the solution. So 1 1 Two. So there are three roots, one, one, again you have two roots are repeated roots or you can say one is the repeated root of this equation. So in this video we have discussed uh, how to solve cubic equation very quickly and I hope you, li uh, you like this method and if you like please share with your friends, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.